assalamu alaikum so in the last video we discuss about allah's warning to adam alay salam and uh, today we we'll see what happened when adam alay salam uh, actually approached the tree and ate the fruit uh so when we try to connect the verses from quran with uh, some of the narrations in the hadith uh, sometimes uh, what we get out of it is really mind blowing there is a hadith in sahih muslim uh, 2748b uh, it's in front of me right now so where uh, the messages uh, it says that if the humanity were not uh, about to commit sin allah would have completely wiped them out allah wanted a creation with the ability to do uh, uh, sins crimes and also the intention to ask forgiveness for and then he would be happy to grant them forgiveness right so allah wanted and and see how how unique this is so allah allah was allah had like billions of uh, uh, angels to worship him every single day every single second but he wanted a creation with the ability to commit sin but again they should come back to him asking for forgiveness and he wanted to forgive them that is why he created humans this is a very core message of why allah decided to have humans on earth it's it's very very unique and then so uh, now coming back to adam alay salam so what he did was uh, uh, when he realized that he did a mistake he did not say oh uh, this was because of uh, uh, hawa alay salam she told me to eat the fruit no he didn't say that and he did not even say that oh this is because of uh, iblis or satan uh, he tempted me to do it So what he said was that's mentioned in in uh, surah al-raf verse 23 uh, same surah surah number 7 our lord we have wronged ourselves and if you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us we will surely be among the uh, losers which allah already told him that you will be among the wrong doers and the same uh, uh, in the same pattern uh, adam alayhi salam goes back to allah asking for forgiveness realizing that he has already done a mistake and he also tells him that if you don't forgive and have mercy on upon us then we will be among the losers and and so with this message uh, allah is uh, has almost achieved what he wanted he wanted a, he wanted a person who could commit a crime and also come back to him for asking of forgiveness you know, so he merely he, he forgives adam alayhi salam so sending adam alayhi salam to earth is not a punishment okay because as per the message he wanted somebody to ask for forgiveness and he forgives him and allah forgave adam alayhi salam there sending adam alayhi salam to earth was part of the mission was part of the process was was uh, that is how the the, the story goes uh, beyond this is the scene one and the story continues from there it's not there's something like he was angry upon him and he threw adam alayhi salam from from garden to uh, earth a bad place earth is finest place and we are so happy that allah gave us this place gave us this home temporary home we going back to paradise inshallah so uh, this is something we need to uh, again connect to uh, a, a good verse for us to uh, try to understand and and read as much as possible to get what else is, is hiding in there and a bit about introduction about iblis now so allah immediately forgave uh, uh adam alay salam uh, but why he did not forgive iblis because iblis did not ask for forgiveness and as he quoted on the hadith allah wanted somebody to go come back to him and ask for forgiveness iblis didn't say okay i'm sorry or i i am repenting for not obeying your order of prostrating in front of adam uh, or tempting him towards the tree he he didn't uh, admitted it he didn't ap- apologize it though allah knows that what he did he didn't apologize for it he didn't feel regret for it what he said was i am superior i am made of fire and uh, he is made of uh, adam alayhi salam is made of uh, clay sand so i am superior far better than i am so that means because of his pride and arrogance these two things stopped him from asking forgiveness uh, from allah again a message that we need to take from here 
we don't want to be the follower of Iblis, we just want to be the follower of uh, uh, Adam alayhi salam and our Allah. So take uh, guidance from Adam alayhi salam and not from Iblis. Uh, what we need to help ourselves is to stay away from pride and arrogance. These two things are the basic, basic root cause of any problem that you will have in life going forward, which will even stop you from seeing what is right and wrong, even if it's in front of you like black and white. And it will even stop you from asking forgiveness. Forget Allah. People will not ask forgiveness from their family or their wives or their husbands, their children or, or any human in this world just because they have pride and arrogance. Anybody without pride and arrogance will not feel ashamed to go back and ask uh, forgiveness for uh, to the person which whom he had done something wrong right so that is what we should also try to become and uh, uh, inshallah may allah guide us uh, uh, with more uh, so that we also become like people like adam malay salam and not like somebody like iblis hope this message helped you and uh, please share if you like it and if you have any such important messages like this any more creative or mind-blowing information that you have gathered from quran please feel free to share with me i would i'd be happy to hear from you thank you assalamualaikum